The pressure is on at the Paris police headquarters, one of the key security control sites for the COP21, and where any sign of disturbance will be monitored on these screens. Staffing in the control room will be reinforced even though it won't be the only control room monitoring the COP. A remote center will be set up at Le Bourget to manage public order and traffic. All eyes will be on Le Bourget on Monday, the venue just outside Paris where nearly 150 heads of states and governments will kick off the climate talks. In the wake of the deadliest attacks the city has ever seen, security has been tightened. UN guards will be stationed inside the venue, backed by 2,800 security forces around the site. Another 6,000 officers will also be on Paris's street the first couple of days, in addition to multiple road closures and border checks already in place. It's likely to be a commuter's nightmare, prompting the mayor of Bourget to give residents one piece of advice. Sometimes when transport workers are on strike, people have to take the day off. I think that for those who can, taking Monday off would be the best solution. Security may be on organizers' minds, but not everyone feels so concerned. I'm more worried about the inconveniences when going to work. Besides that, I have zero concerns about the COP21. They always target smaller areas. If they had wanted to attack a head of state, I think they would have done so already. So I don't see why we should be scared. With the country on high alert, the government has also banned major demonstrations. But with some 40,000 visitors expected to attend, some fear security concerns will overshadow the crucial summit and the groundbreaking deal it could yield.